Hey, it's Eric Coffey. <laughs> hey, Eric, how are you? I'm doing well, and yourself? I am fabulous. Thank you for calling. Hey, not a problem, not a problem. So, um, tell me, tell me a little bit about your business. Where all I'm going to be doing is, my next code is set for um, uh, janitorial work. Okay. So, I'm going to be outsourcing work to as many janitorial companies as I can find. Okay. Because the government is so big, that might be an area where you may want to look at a state or local contract. Okay. Um, and? I'm just putting it out there because, and I know people, I know I'm not a fan of state or local contracts, but, um, and there are some instances where it makes more sense. And, and, and janitorial starting out might be one of them. Because okay. the type of people that you need, um, they're going to be locally based. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so you're going to need to, more than likely, probably going to have to provide some sort of transportation. Um, and so you're going to need, you're going to need to have, it's probably going to be a, a narrow span of control, meaning you're going to have to micromanage a lot of this stuff. Um, mm-hmm. It's going to be a lot more right. handholding, yeah. and thus I think that to starting off, you're going to probably need to be close in proximity to where you're physically at. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Again, that's based on your NAX code. I don't say this to everyone, but that type of industry. Um, now, 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 if you want to, the, the, and the reason why I state this is is because. I um so one of one of my good friends, actually the guy who got me started in doing federal contracts, he has a janitorial contract, right? Mm-hmm. With GSA. But you have to be able to cover an entire like region of the United States. And I mean that's just not mm-hmm. realistic for someone starting off. Um mm-hmm. and the smaller janitorial contracts, like that the the ones that are on the bases, um, what I've seen is normally that kind of stuff goes out to goodwill industries. Oh wow! Yeah, Good Goodwill Industries handles a lot of the, like on on the basis that I worked at, Goodwill Industries handles a lot of the janitorial contracts, because they I they see. they work they handle they work with people with special needs and stuff. I see. Yeah, okay. so they they have uh, they're privy to a lot of that local stuff, um, but you know, like I said, I, and then the the other route is the big big stuff, which again you're not in a position to do. Um, so I would say. Um, you know, I would look at for you for that particular code. Um, you know, what what have you found? So in the beginning, it just kind of sounds like step away from, or at least just take a step back from the janitorial work until I am fully conditioned to kind of dive into that field. No, why? Why not just start at this local level? Just start locally. Yeah. Well, I mean. Why not start at the local? So, level? so in terms of like, okay, so so to say, to start locally, like, well, what do I do? Like, where do I go at this point? Oh, you, you do the same thing that you did that now. To go but on instead to, of registering, yeah. instead of registering for the federal websites, you'd register for the local one. So you'd register for whatever city is in your area, right? So whatever that city is, or if if it's a municipality, whatever that municipality is. Like for example, we have here. Um, in Miami, we have the city of Miami, but we also mm-hmm. have Miami-Dade County. So the county has 40 plus different municipalities within our county. Mm-hmm. And I would imagine Atlanta is structured similarly, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. we have, so what I'm stating is the same, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's very similar, the registration, um, except mm-hmm. you were re- registering for the municipalities as opposed to the, you know, the federal side. Got it. So here okay. we've got city of Miami, we've got El Portal, North Miami beach, Miami beach, you know, then we have a uh, homestead, you know, it's, it, so we just have a lot of different cities, Hialeah, Miami gardens, and all those cities have janitorial services. Okay. That is probably going to be almost identical to Atlanta. It's going to be in a what? To, to Georgia, just the way it is here, it's uh, the way that's set up. So yeah, so I, I mean, okay. I would look at starting at that level, and then 
you from that level, you can build past performance. So in my mind, and and obviously, let me know if I'm wrong. Like the way that I had visualized this to go was to reach out to just you know a couple of um, companies that are already established doing janitorial work, right? And saying, hey, I have this contract here. I'm interested in shooting it over to you guys to um, pretty much be a part of the team. Not the contract per se, but just bring you guys in on board. And you're saying, yes, locally, but don't do that outside of the state of Georgia. No, 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 no. You could, I mean, now, if you wanted to partner with a larger firm, um, Mm -hmm. you could definitely do that. Okay. But it's, but you're not going to, no one's going to give you a contract that you can bring to someone. So no one's going to, the federal government, uh, they're risk averse, meaning they're not Mm -hmm. going to Mm -hmm. give you a big contract to do janitorial services. Um, They wouldn't do that. Uh, Now you could partner with a big firm and then start leveraging, you know, their history, their past performance, their teams to go out and solicit for a large contract. You could do that. Definitely. I see. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, uh, you know, but the government's not going to give you contracts to sub out to other people. But how would they know? Well, because they're going to ask you for your past performance in your history and you're going to have to provide references. Okay. So how they're not going to choose. They're going to, when you go to a meet, so I'll give you an example. Um, I'm going to, I'm representing a client. And I'm flying mm-hmm. uh, this week to a meeting um, up in Massachusetts. And then mm-hmm. I'll be in uh, Rhode Island for another meeting next week. Um, part of the meetings, they ask you to bring your team. Who would you bring? Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah, if they ask you, like, for example. See, I, I am at the complete beginning stages of this. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah, the that's right what I'm way. saying. You, you know, again, p- part of. Um, I, I'm not opposed to you doing that, but you could do the same thing like me. Like, I don't have. I don't have uh, any employees in Massachusetts or Rhode Island, but, you know, I'm working with a company that does have all those resources, but they don't have any. They don't have anyone that's pursuing the federal marketplace. So I come in, and that's where I come in. I take on their name as if though I'm an employee. I take on their name. I use all their information, and then I get us meetings, and I land us. Um, and then I could bring a team, and then I could just tell them whoever we need to bring. So for in my case, we have a big meeting coming up in October at the Naval Yard, and uh, he asked me to bring my superintendent, my quality control guy, and a project manager. And um, so I can bring a whole team to the table for a meeting and then they could answer any technical questions that the government may have. And that basically pre-qualifies us for projects already. So then wow. they can start basically uh, negotiating directly with us for upcoming projects. Stay in touch. Don't disappear, okay? I will. All I'll right. definitely stay in touch. All right, love. Take care. All right. Great. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.